relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results right now. You're right. Three of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. We need to calm down. We're taking too many shots early in the clock. Points allowed is one of the key indicators for good defense. Magic leading by 10. Peyton dishes to Freak. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got his fourth assist in this one. 112 left to play here in the third. Kicks it to Splitter. There's a screen. Millsap passes to Holiday. The timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. They're not as aggressive from the outside here, but maybe they should think about stretching the defense a little bit, like they did in the first half. I mean, stretching the defense makes it easier to score inside, too. Here's Fournier. Millsap covering. Shot clock at six. Here's Peyton. Rebound by Muscala. The Hawks trail by 10. And Holiday kicks to Muscala. Back to Holiday. Out left to the wing. Splitter with a screen on Gordon. Outside Hardaway. Shoots. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Hardaway has got 10 points. Stolen by Holiday. Outside Hardaway. And the three ball is good. Now just a five point magic lead. And a great show. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome the Hawks. Home for the Hawks. Splitter is checked in for Teague, and it's Muscala in for Tabo Cephalosha. Then for the Magic, Oladipo comes in for Evan Fournier, and Freak subbed in for Peyton. We've got Splitter, Mirza Toledovich out there with Tim Hardaway Jr. Then there's Horford, and it's Muscala in at the three slot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Now here's Freak, guarded by Hardaway. Pass to Christopher. Now here's Freak. And stolen by Splitter. Fast break, the Hawks. And they take the lead. Toledovich has got 10 points here in the second half. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket. Right in the shooting pocket. For a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. And it's something we haven't seen much of at the opposite end of the floor. Here's Freak. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Freak's got it all tied up now for the Magic. And their solid play in the paint continues, guys. And that's been their focus, it seems, throughout the game. I like the discipline that they've showed in terms of creating those opportunities on the inside. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Mike Budenholzer was discussing with his guys. He told them, this is it, fellas. Let's hit them right out of this timeout. Put some pressure on them. Show them how much you want. Let's go get it. Guys, he's really exhorting them to give them a burst of energy. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Knocked away. We've got 128 left to play here in the fourth, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Oladipo. And you know what? Just a little too much heat on that pass for him to come up with the steal. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that was going to be a tough catch for either one of them. Corver dishes to T. Back to Corver. Offensive rebound. Dishes to T. He kicks to Millsap. Back to Teague. Right side, Corver. Teague left side. And another shot. That one bounces around and comes back out. The mechanics totally out of whack right now. He's lost his feel for the shot. Yeah, he really has. I mean, just totally out of sync 
And you can just see it in the numbers. Nothing going down for him right now. And you know they wanted that one to go down. They sure did. Would have loved to tie it up right there. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. Oh, that certainly could be costly. In a close one, those kinds of mistakes can really give the other team momentum. Freak passes to Harris. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. To the wing on the left. Here's Christopher. Connects from downtown. What a bucket at one of the more crucial moments of the game. How about the cool, collected way in which he delivered it? Clutch. Okay, guys, we are up, but the game is far from over. Let's extend the lead. Freak, you got the hot hand. He's going out there. Outside T. Splitter sets a screen. That's a two from Corver. Oh, no good. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. That's a major mental mistake. I mean, there's no other way for me to describe it. He didn't know where he was on the court. That's a, that's a, that's a basic fundamental. You have to be alert to where you are. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. No choice but to foul there. But, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. And he ends up making the second, and that will put them up by two. Nine seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Teague. No good. Gets the first, that narrows the gap to one. Can't knock it down, and they really needed that one. It's stolen by Corver. And so the big win by Orlando in a tight game. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. It really 